Once again, thanks for tuning in. Holly Shields here for Calpine Media. What is joint liability? Let's get into it. But first, please sub to our channel and while you're at it, press that bell icon to stay ahead of the game. The obligation of two or more people to fulfill their responsibility of paying back debt or satisfying a liability is known as a joint liability. With joint liability, the parties can share the risk associated with debt and moreover protect themselves in case of a lawsuit. The people who are part of a joint liability are known as jointly liable. Now, how does joint liability work? Joint liability arises when two or more parties jointly apply for a debt as co-borrowers. In a general partnership, the regulation states that when a partner enters a debt contract with or without the knowledge of other partners, the contract binds all the partners. In case any partner defaults and lawsuits are filed, then all the partners are equally responsible for the fault and each partner must pay the compensation and monetary liability. When partners enter a joint liability, then they possess the knowledge that they will be able to be liable for the actions of other partners in the contract. So what's the meaning of the term jointly and severally? The term jointly and severally describes the legal setup in which each member in the partnership is equally responsible for the liability. Jointly and severally is also known as joint and several liability. Within a group of people or in partnerships, it's crucial that parties ascertain and differentiate the liabilities along with the extent to which a person is liable. In the contract of joint and several liability, parties mention that responsibility will be either shared jointly by all the members or the same responsibility will be shared separately. Complex legal terms are used to define the responsibilities of the party involved to clarify the liability of the persons who enter the contract. The legally binding document identifies the parties who enter the contract and they are obligated to fulfill their duties. Actions and terms set forth in the agreement. So what's the difference between several liable and jointly liable? Well, in the case of several liable, the parties have a liability only towards their respective obligation. However, in joint liability, all parties are equally responsible for the type of liabilities. To illustrate, imagine partners in a business taking up a loan for their company. Under a severally liable agreement, each partner has a specific share of the liability for which he or she is responsible. In case one of the partners defaults on the loan, then the lender can only sue the specific individual and not the others. Other partners have no obligation to repay the loan. Syndicate loan agreements mostly adopt several liabilities. So what's the difference between several and joint liability and jointly liable? The major difference is that in the case of joint liability, all the partners are held equally responsible for any illegal activity done by any member. However, in the case of several and joint liability, the liability of repaying the damages is shifted on the partner who has the ability to pay, or the person held responsible by the court. Another major difference is that in joint liability, members know the area they will be held responsible for. The same is not the case with several and joint liability as no member has any knowledge of who will be held responsible. Well, now that you're up to speed, check out some of our other videos. If you like this info, please give us a like, comment, and a share. For regular updates and info, log on to our website at calkinemedia.com. This has been Holly Shields for Calkine Media.